Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a block schematic symbol to use with an AutoCAD electrical. So first of all you need to create some geometry. And I've just used normal AutoCAD tools to create these circles, rectangle and lines. So then I'm going to select the symbol builder and select the geometry I wish to include within my symbol. Then I'm going to decide what type of symbol it is and you can see we've got parent, child, terminal, footprint etc. So this is a parent coil for a relay. So I'm going to then get the opportunity to put in some different attributes. Okay, So my standard attributes are here and I've got my tag aligned to the right so I'll insert that here and this is going to be a control relay. And the family or default code is CR for control relay. Okay, these attributes are invisible attributes, so it doesn't really matter the placement or size. So insert those here, here, and here. And you can see they're very tiny, but they're going to be uh, invisible when I place the uh, the symbol into my drawing. Okay, so these next ones are aligned. These next three description ones are aligned to the left size 2.5 that's all right so that's fine one and two and three and then I've got the installation and location codes so they're again aligned to the right so I'm going to go for uh, one there and then the other one there and then the family code it's already set to CR um, so that's fine so I can go uh, there's a couple more attributes I require uh, let's just insert that somewhere like that, that's invisible, just so that's done. Um, so you can see, normally invisible. So a couple more attributes I require for a control relay, uh, reference um, attribute, so I'll write that on there. So this is going to show me, if I, when I put the contacts in, this is the coil, so when I put the contacts in, it's going to put the re X reference for those contacts there. And then I've also got, um, go back to main menu here, um, rating is another thing that you might want on there. Um, okay, and align that to the right and insert that somewhere like that. Rating, uh, control relay, maybe, maybe not, don't know. It's up to you. So next we need to put on some wire connections. And I want one to the top there and justify it to the right, yeah, two, yeah, that's fine, okay. Pin number one, okay, so justify it to the right, yeah. And then this one is going to be down there, justify it to the left, yep, yeah, okay, and that's going to be two. And in some cases, back to the main menu here, you might want to put link connections on there as well, so you can link it to a uh, to a coil, so this one's a connection from the right, and then this one will be a connection from the left, and that should be that. Okay, so let's just uh, if I click W block here, that's going to then allow me to save my block. This is what I've done earlier, so I just give it a different name to that. And you can see I'm saving it to my IEC menu there, and then I will specify on the screen my base point which is there okay and then it says do you want to insert my new block I say okay yes I do and I'll pop it on there and there's my control relay okay so I can give it a rating 24 volt DC yeah and there we are and if I put a coil on there not a coil sorry a control relay contact quickly to show you that I can pop one there and if I wanted to link it I can use my link tool to link the two up like that and you can see the link goes from there to there and um, if I want to do another one and this time I'll pop it over here and this one I'm not going to link via a link I'm just going to link via the software itself Okay, and then we have the cross-reference there, 
And we have my cross reference there. Obviously, it's not the right style for this particular drawing, but there you go. Because I put all the attributes in, they work as they should. If I want to add this to the symbol builder, or sorry, to the icon menu, I can go to my icon menu wizard. Yep, that's the icon menu wizard I want to add the component to, to my symbols. Add a new component and control relay one, browse. That's my icon control relay one. Okay, oh, or even better, I can pick the block. That's, there we go. Okay, that replace the image. Okay, so that's now saved to my icon menu. Click on icon menu, go to my symbols, click on there, click on there, and there we have the icon to use time and time and time again. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Manor Machine. Cheers, bye.